Hi, I'm Zach Davison. I am a manga translator and an author on Spooky Japan. I write a couple books about supernatural Japan and I translate a lot of horror manga. And I'm here at the Japan Foundation in Sydney at this incredible exhibit of original Japanese manga art pages. I think it's one of the most incredible gallery exhibitions I've ever been to. I've honestly I've been doing this for a long time and I've never seen this many original art pages on display, especially by multiple artists. I think that is just incredible. And look at this, I'm just gonna show you a few of my favorite pages. This is absolutely one of my favorite pages, not only because you get to see a sequence, um, and I like these pages because a lot of comic art, you know, you can see a story in a single page. And so you can see how the artist crafts the story that this one page here has a full action sequence, has a start, a middle, an end, and then once again, it carries immediately over. And if you look at these, like on the printed page, there's so much here you wouldn't see, especially on this page here, because you have the handwritten um, words here that the author wrote, and then you have what obviously I think was probably, you know, once it went through the editorial process, and they came up with a different bit of dialogue than had originally been intended, that is sort of layered over top of the author's words here. You can see that in a few different places. And these are the kind of, process that you only ever see on the original art, right? Because once you printed this on the comic page, it would be clean. But you get to look behind the scenes when you look at an original page in the way that you just rarely ever have the opportunity to do. Like even just down here, you can see how the author had originally sketched two word balloons intentionally, but then ended up drawing just a single one. And then the text here just sort of wedged up in the corner. Uh, I just, I find that so fascinating.